so I got two more cats this week. I really liked the way these turned out. At this point in my little cat sketching journey, I think I went ahead and settled on just keeping on painting cats. Actually to the point where I'm growing a little collection and I think I'm going to try to make some kind of poster. The styles are still pretty different, so I don't know how cohesive that would be with what I've got right now, but I think if I make several more, I can come up with something really nice. I forgot that I used neon for the underpainting on this one. No wonder he seems so luminous. I think maybe the green was a little too much on his nose for the final product, but I really don't notice it unless I'm thinking about it. Like, I don't think someone else would notice it unless I pointed it out. I think by this point I had figured out that I really needed to focus on the eyes in order to make everything look okay. Actually, I think, and I probably need to test this, but I think you could use almost any color for the underpainting, or not underpainting, um, I think I could just make a cat head form with a bunch of different colors, but all in the same, um, oh gosh, the same gray, <laughs> grayness. <laughs> um, but yeah, once you put all that down, I think you could just hit it with lights and shadows, and it wouldn't matter what color was in there, it would still look good, probably. That would be a fun project. Do some different calico cats that way. Neon rainbow calico cats or something. Um, he had funny little ears, and so I was having trouble getting them to look right because of the way that I was seeing the color. It just seemed like these weird, funny white lines on his head with no ears that you could really see. But as always, it's just a little battle with light and shadow to make it pop at the end. And yeah, the eyes. I figure with most of these cats, they can be pretty, pretty loose and pretty gestural as long as the eyes are really well done. Even the most alien of my kitties has been said to be pretty by other people because, because the eyes look good. Um, so that's another interesting thing that I think I could experiment with is like how how far out could I go with strange cat shape, but still have it be awesome because of the eyes? On this next one, I tried to go all out with the colors, and then I ended it with raining it all back in. Um, and the result reminds me a little bit of Rocket Raccoon. I really like the bright kind of neon colors that are kind of mixed in with these two. I really want to add more rainbows like that, like hints of rainbow color into my work. So yeah, right now, he looks like he's going to be like a flashing neon sign or something, but... Ah, uh, did I... I think I forgot to record half of this. I'm so sorry, but... I painted gray on top of all that neon. I had trouble with the nose. Okay, because of the way that I light gesture sketch these in pen before I start painting, a lot of times the proportions are pretty far off, so I really have to get creative with my painting to fix it. Um, you can see right now that his nose is looking kind of twisted at the end, <laughs> and one of his lips was hanging down lower than the other. There was a third one that I didn't even bother to add because the bottom half of his face was so deformed <laughs> that I just finished the eyes and quit. But actually, the most surprising thing about this one was that it apparently only took me 20 minutes. Um, I thought that was a big surprise because the other one took 45. The little guy with the floppy ears, he took 45 minutes. And this one only took 20. And to me, the quality doesn't look all that different. So... Yeah, that's my two cutie cats for this week, and more are in the works, so come back soon. Bye.